Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. We're here in the Tampa Bay area installing a six inch yard drain. So whenever you're working with a six inch main line, I can tell you right now, it's a whole nother animal than dealing with four inch or smaller. The fittings are gonna be larger. You're gonna be using a lot more tile tape to keep the water in and the roots out of those joints. And just in general, having extra guys on hand to work with this pipe makes it a lot easier. Now, if you're a DIYer and you're gonna tackle this project over the weekend by yourself, you definitely can do it, but set some time aside if you're gonna be working with a six inch line by yourself, because this is gonna take a little bit longer. It's gonna be a slower process. If you have some buddies you can invite over, give them some beers, that's the best way to do it. They can help you get the job done a lot quicker. So basically the reason we're going with a six inch main line here is because we have a large downspout that comes off the Lanai super gutter and it's a four by five downspout. And not only that, but we also have a channel drain that goes around the entire pool deck that dumps out in the same location as that downspout. And trying to hook a pipe to this downspout and to that channel drain is almost impossible without having to redo a bunch of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a large 12 by 12 basin underneath both of them so it can collect all that water. Now, the beginning of this run is a three by four downspout. For that three by four downspout, we can go ahead and use four inch pipe for that because it can handle it. But once we get to our six inch main, it's going to adapt into the six inch main and everything from there on out is gonna be a six inch main. The reason for this is because you never wanna go down in size and drainage. You only wanna go up in size. Now, that right there, if you were looking at the screen, that is a pool overflow drain. We have tons of these in Florida. The way these work is a good example of how water seeks its own level. So basically, once the pool becomes too filled, that pool overflow drain is slightly lower than the pool deck. So the water will begin to come out of that pool overflow drain instead of overflowing your pool. Now, as you can see here, we got the first downspout hooked up, the French drain man leaf filter, and then we have that four inch line adapting into our six inch main. Now we went ahead and we used a Y fitting here to connect in that box because we know that there's gonna be a ton of water just pooling in this area and we want that water to move out as quickly as possible. That is why we went ahead and used the Y. Now, as you can see, you see that channel drain right there? That's what I'm talking about. They put it right in the way of the downspout. So, or the downspout was put right in the way of the channel drain. Now, right here, we're gonna put a T fitting in. Now, we're not really concerned with using a T fitting here because it's just a pool overflow drain. The water is gonna to have to build up in the pool and then it slowly seeps out of this overflow drain. So it's just gonna enter our system with a T. We're really not trying to overthink this. There's no debris that's gonna be getting in there. Now the catch basin box, debris could get in there and the other downspout debris could get into that four inch line and make it into our six inch main. That's why we wanna use a Y fitting there. Now, as you can see, we got our one and a half PVC pipe connected into that pool overflow drain. And then we adapt over to our four inch corrugated adapter that goes to a six inch corrugated main. Another thing to keep in mind whenever you are working with a six inch main is how you're going to discharge that system. Because it's a larger diameter pipe, it's gonna take up more room in the ground and you're gonna use more of your fall. That's more of your slope running away from your property to discharge the system. Now, if you wanna get this thing to drain by gravity, you have to make sure you have enough fall to do so. Now, in this particular case, we were blessed with enough fall. We could actually straight pipe the system into a natural area. That's where the pipe is just left sticking straight out of the bank of the ground so the water can flow freely out and there's nothing to hinder it. If you can't do that on your property, you're gonna have to use a commercial grade sump pump basin and a pump with a large GPM, that's gallons per minute, to move that water out. If you go too small of a basin, sump pump basin and pump with a six inch main line, you're gonna have a bad time because on heavy rain events, that entire system is gonna back up. Whenever you're working with six inch pipe, everything is bigger. That's just the way it works. But as you can see here, we got the job site pretty much all cleaned up. Now the grass here is gonna have to get reseeded. Most of it was dead because of that pool overflow drain. That's why we tapped it into the system. The chlorine from the pool was just killing the grass and would not allow it to grow. But as you can see, we have it straight piped out here with some rocks to help control erosion. Let's grab this bag of chicken, and that just about does it. 
If you enjoyed this video and you learned a little something, give us a thumbs up. It supports us. It helps the channel out. And if you're in need of a yard drain or a French drain, give us a call at 813-614-3456. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.